Kiyotaka Ayana Koji starts attending Class 1D at the Tokyo Metropolitan Advanced Nurturing High School, a government-established institution for training top students. The teacher, Sai Chabashira, compares the school's point system to money, with each student receiving 100,000 points monthly, where one point equals one yen. She warns that students are judged based on their performance. Kiyotaka is cautious about spending points wisely, meets friendly Kikyo Koshida, and tries to reconcile with his selfish classmate Suzunite Horikita. In an effort to help Koshida make friends with Suzuni, Kiyotaka invites them, along with two others, to a cafeteria secretly. However, Suzume sees through the plan and leaves. On April 30, most of Class D spends points lavishly and slacks off without consequences, making Kiyotaka suspicious. On May 1, Class D students are surprised to learn they didn't receive any allowance, and Chabashira explains it depends on merit. Neglecting their studies for a month, the class runs out of points. Chabashira explains how the school system works. There are four first-year classes, and they're ranked by how well students do. Class D can move up to Class C if they do well on exams. Chabashira warns that if anyone fails, they could be kicked out of school. Everyone is serious about their studies except for Ken Sudo, Kenji Ike, and Haruki Yamauchi. Kiyotaka and Suzunai talk about this, and she wants him to bring the boys to her study group in the library. But Suzuni is a bit selfish, so Kiyotaka and Koshida can't invite them. Suda wants to play basketball and isn't interested in studying. Kiyotaka finds Suzuni arguing with her brother and the student council president, Manabu. They argue about a misunderstanding about independent isolation. Kiyotaka steps in, and Manabu reveals he got 50 points on every test and wonders if it's a coincidence. Midterm exams come, and Class D as a whole does really well, with some students ranking high among all the first-year students. Class D receives their exam results, and everyone passes except for Sudo, who missed passing by just one point. Kiyotaka used 15,000 points to buy exam questions from an older student three days before the test. He explains that this isn't against the school rules. Later, Kiyotaka hears Chabashira discussing whether equality exists, and she says it doesn't. Kiyotaka agrees. Kiyotaka and Suzune spend their points to increase Sudo's test score by one point so he can stay in class. Koshida accidentally leaves her cell phone, and Kiyotaka returns it. In the process, he discovers a jealous and unpleasant side of her personality. Koshida asks Kiyotaka to keep it a secret, or else she'll accuse him of something inappropriate. On July 1, the school stops giving out points to Class D because of an incident involving Sudo and three basketball teammates from Class C the day before. Sudo was attacked and defended himself, but because he has a bad reputation, he might be in trouble unless the class can find a witness to prove he's innocent before the hearing next week. If they don't, the whole class will be without points for the month. To help Sudo, three students from Class C secretly ask another student, Kakeru Ryuin, to pretend to attack them. With the help of students from Class B, Class D asks for witnesses to the incident. Suzune tells Kiyotaka and the others that Eri Sakura saw everything and recorded it with her camera. That night, Kiyotaka and Koshida talk about the truth. They wonder if one of the suspects is guilty and the other is innocent, but without enough proof, people are likely to believe the innocent one. The next day, they approach Sakura for the evidence, but she accidentally drops her camera and panics, thinking she broke it. She runs away, not wanting to get involved. Sakura, Kiyotaka, and Koshida go to the electronics store to check the camera, which is still under warranty. The store clerk asks Sakura for her contact information, but Kiyotaka provides his details instead. Kiyotaka figures out that Sakura is the internet model who recently gained popularity. At the hearing led by Manabu, both classes accuse each other of starting the fight, and initially, Class C seems to be winning. Suzune stays quiet until Kiyotaka reminds her, and she speaks up. She asks about the circumstances of the fight, pointing out that it's almost impossible for Sudo to cause such serious injuries in a three-against-one fight. She presents Sakura as a witness, showing photos she took during a photo shoot where the fight was happening in the background. However, the evidence only proves Sakura was there and doesn't clear Sudo of any wrongdoing. The Class C teacher suggests a compromise, suspend Sudo for two weeks and the three Class C students for one week each. But Class D refuses. 
Manabu realizes that someone is lying, so he ends the hearing, saying he'll announce his decision the next day unless there are admissions or new evidence. He also mentions that he can expel students. Sakura goes back to the dorm and finds the photos in the mailbox. Kiyotaka and Suzumi take advantage of the delay in the final decision and set up a trap in the stairwell. Koshida sends a fake message to three Class C students, asking them to meet her at a special annex. This draws them to the stairwell, where Kiyotaka and Suzumi are waiting, and Hanami Ichinos installed security cameras. They trick the Class C students into thinking that pushing forward with the complaint won't benefit anyone, and the trio might get expelled for lying to the school. So the Class C students agree to drop the complaint. Later, the electronic store clerk, a big fan of the internet personality Shizuku, attacks Sakura. Kiyotaka and Ichinos arrive to save her using their phone's tracking feature and the security cameras to catch the clerk. Chabashira tells Suzune that Class D is seen as a place for students with problems, and she thinks Kiyotaka is one of them. Manabu convinces Kiyotaka to join the student council, but he refuses and gives credit to Suzumi for resolving the case. Kiyotaka and Suzunai plan to help the others reach Class A. While studying during summer vacation, Kiyotaka invites Suzune to the pool. The night before, a group of Class D students, including Kiyotaka, Sudo, Ike, Yamauchi, and leader Hideo Sotomura, discuss plans to spy on the girls in the changing room. During the trip, Sotomura keeps an eye on the boys using signals and walkie-talkies. Yamachi tries to sneak into the women's changing room as a janitor to install cameras, but he struggles and Ike enters. Ryuin and Class C students approach the changing room while Ike is still inside. Sudo tries to stall Ryuin to give Ike time to escape. Class of students arrive, ready for a fight. Manabu reminds everyone they're still being judged as long as they're on school grounds. So Tamara updates Kiyotaka on the situation, and Suzuni gives a speech from a diving platform about Class D aiming for class a Sunday. While everyone is distracted, Ike slips out unnoticed, and Suzune removes the SD cards from the cameras to ruin the plan. Kiyotaka tells Suzune he chose her because he thought other classmates might do it behind his back. On a class trip, all first-year students go on a fancy cruise ship. Kiyotaka learns that someone wants him expelled. Shabashira offers to help him get to Class A, but he thinks she might be tricking him. He refuses, and she warns him that if he doesn't, he could be kicked out and lose his freedom. Later, Kiyotaka talks with Suzuni about the trip. He suspects they might be taken to a school-owned island for some hidden reason. Ryuin tries to trick Suzumi about the security cameras. Another Class C student, Mayo Abuki, wants to talk to Ryuin but is stopped by Albert. Suzune thinks Class C might be falling apart from the inside. Sakayanaji is scheming in the background and investigating with other students. Sakura asks Kiyotaka on a date, but she changes her mind when they meet. Koshida sees them, Sakura gets embarrassed and leaves. Kiyotaka tries to go, but Koshida, in her angry mood, stops him. She senses he doesn't trust her, and he confirms it. Koshida switches back to being cheerful and admits she feels lonely when left alone. The next day, the school tells everyone the real reason for the trip. They have to survive on a deserted island for a week. Yosu Karada explains how the survival test works. The class gets 300 points for food and stuff, and whatever's left after a week can be turned into class points. They lose points for injuries, making a mess, missing roll calls, and fighting with other classes. Class D decides to tough it out, but the girls want a portable toilet. Despite the argument, Class D decides to save points. They split up to find a camping spot, and Kiyotaka teams up with Sakura and Rakusu Konji. Kiyotaka leaves Konji, and with Sakura, looks for a spot to claim. Chabashira said only the class leader can claim it, and keeping a spot for 8 hours earns a special test point redeemable for class points. Spending 50 points lets the class guess the leader of another class. While searching, Kiyotaka sees Kohai Katsuragi with the leader card, talking to Yahiko Tatsuka. Class D sets up camp by the river, and Suzune becomes the leader. While gathering wood, Kiyotaka, Yamauchi, and Sakura find Mio injured, and Koshida shares fruit with her. The class plans to spend points on two meals a day, a toilet, a tent, and save 30 for emergencies. But there's a setback when Konji quits, claiming to feel sick, 
costing Class D 30 points. Kiyotaka and Suzune check out other camps. Class B's camp is near a waterfall, similar to Class D's but in a better spot. Class A's camp is in a guarded cave. Suzune tries to peek, but Katsureji warns her it could start a war. Class C's camp, led by Ryuan, is on a beach. They spent all their points like it's a vacation, knowing they won't be penalized. Ryuan scolds Mio for going against him. Someone sneaks into the girl's tent and steals Class D's phone on the fourth day. Class D does more spying on the fourth day to find class leaders. Kiyotaka and Sakura meet Ichinos at Class C's camp and learn everyone but Mio quit the test. On the fifth day, Ki Karuzawa discovers her underwear is missing. Class D searches bags, and Yamachi finds it in Ike's bag. Kiyotaka takes it, but the girls want a pat-down. During the search, Harada finds Kiyotaka, but says he couldn't find the underwear. Later, he talks to Kiyotaka and decides to take the blame because his reputation will be damaged the least since Karuzawa is his girlfriend. Because of the stolen item, trust within Class D breaks down, and the girls decide to have separate camps for boys and girls. Mio asks Kiyotaka about the thief, and he trusts her, but tells her that Sudo suspects her. That night, Kiyotaka and Suzume sit by a campfire. He notices she's been sick the whole time but toughed it out. Suzume rested during the cruise to recover from her illness. The next day, Class D gathers food before a rainstorm. While fishing, Kiyotaka asks Suzume to check the leader card Katsuragi was holding. But he's still unsure after seeing it. Yamachi puts mud on Suzune's hair, and she throws him down. While cleaning up, someone secretly steals the leader card, and Kiyotaka finds out. Soon after, someone sets the survival test manual on fire, making trust issues worse for Class D thinking Mio did it. Suzune tries to get her key card back without anyone seeing. Mio gives the card to a mysterious student. Mio tells Katsuragi on the ham radio that she got Suzune's card, revealing that Class A and Class C are working together. Injured Suzune leaves the test. On the last day, students take down their camps, and each class guesses their leaders. Class B decides not to guess. Ryuan reveals a secret deal with Katsuragi to transfer 200 test points to Class A in exchange for the card or photo. Class C quickly spends the remaining 100 points, and everyone, except Ryuan, Mio, and Kaneda, who is spying on Class B, quits the test. Class C guesses the leaders, Yahiko Tatsuka for Class A, Chihiro Shiranami for Class B, and Suzuni for Class D results show Class D wins with 225 points, followed by Class B with 140, Class A with 120, and Class C with none. They return to the cruise ship, where Arisu Sakayanaji reveals her plan to make everyone distrust Katsuragi. Kiyotaka admits he let Mio steal the card and replace Suzuni as the leader. He also deduced Class A's leader was Tatsuka, but didn't name Class B's leader to protect their alliance. Ryuan discloses his motivation for allying with Class A. In a talk with Chabashira, Kiyotaka learns his father wanted him expelled. He tells her he'll keep defying his father. Kiyotaka tells Harada that Suzumi is responsible for Class D's victory, but he wants nothing to do with her or anyone in his class. He sees people as tools and plans to use and sacrifice them as long as he wins in the end. 